Hello great people, African traveler again. Today is a beautiful day. Uh, it's still cold, very cold in Nairobi. This is in, from the month of June, July, August. It's super cold, but we're still going to showcase you the development under construction in Nairobi, Kenya. And today we're going to focus on the viaducts under construction. We're going to start at the Ngong Road, Naivasha viaduct that is currently under construction, uh, as well as the viaduct currently under construction from Kenyatta Avenue, passing Milimani all the way to Ngong Road, uh, which has stalled for a long time. Viaduct, once an obscure road engineering term, the viaduct is now central to Kenya's urban transformation. It is reshaping how roads are designed as toll projects across the country resume following payments to contractors by the government. So, what exactly is a viaduct? According to the Director of Road Planning and Design at the Kenya Urban Roads Authority, Engineer Wilfred Oginga, a viaduct is a road that is elevated and supported above the ground, typically using pillars. The elevated structure is what we are referring to as a viaduct. It is essentially a flyover. Construction of the Timor Viaduct by Spanish Engineering. So the first viaduct to be constructed in Kenya was the Timor Viaduct. So the construction of the Timor Viaduct by Spanish Engineering Company, Centurion, began in November 2020 as an ultimate solution to traffic congestion in and out of the capital. The bridge links Langata and Karen the Wilson Airport, Ami Barracks, and Nairobi National Park. Vehicles headed to Ongata Rungai and Magadi pass over the elevated road, while those headed to Magadi Road, South Sea, Wilson Airport use the underpass. project is already up and running, and the project uh, was implemented under a public-private partnership between the government of Kenya and the government of the Kingdom of Spain. To manage traffic conflicts, one can use either timing-based separation, such as traffic lights, or physical separation, one of the most visible examples of this transformation is reshaping right now on the Ngong Road, Naivasha Road. Flyover near the Kenya Meteorological Department and the Jackson Mall area. This is part of what engineer Oginga refers to as the Ngong Road corridor development. When traffic volumes are high, like for the case of Ngong Road, physical separation is preferred as it enables the continuous flow of vehicle without delays associated with time signal. The viaduct design will significantly reduce travel time and ease congestion. According to the engineer, the traffic coming from Central Business District outbound to Ngong Road and the an inbound traffic coming from Ngong Road towards CBD will be up while all the traffic that is joining Naivasha Road and all the other facility around will move on the ground level. The project is funded by the Spanish government to a tune of 3.8 billion. Uh, this is the same company that did the first viaduct on the Timor, Timor viaduct uh, that are currently working on the junction viaduct. So approximately 3.8 billion and work is being undertaken by Centurion Construction Company. Um, veteran cyclist Carolyn has lauded Kura for integrating cycling and pedestrian infrastructure in the project. This is a huge step forward towards a holistic non-motorized transport, an MT system, she said. Once the Lesuda non-motorized transport bill which seeks to amend the Kenya Road Act becomes law, projects like this will serve as an excellent benchmark. The bill sponsored by Samburu West Member of Parliament, Naisula Lesuda, is at the second reading in Parliament and seeks to mandate an empty infrastructure in all urban and peri-urban roads. The work involves constructing a viaduct which is approximately 450 meters long, dual carriageway. It means two lanes going in each direction. Then if you combine that with the approach both inbound and outbound, then we are going to have a total of approximate 820 meters of a bridge. It includes construction of other circulating lanes on the ground and we also have footpath and cycle track. This design allows one road to run above and the other below at the ground level effectively elim eliminating traffic conflict. Junction Mall 
Viaduct, according to the road agency, is the first of the three integrated plan for the corridor. Negotiation with the Spanish government are underway for the second at Prestige and the third at the city mortuary roundabout. Economic activity along the corridor has already seen a huge boost as a result of the ongoing work. While the initial project pointed to a July 2027 completion, progress has been ahead of schedule, which is June 2026. So we hope to have the project ready by 2026. Fingers crossed, the project is currently on a fast pace, as you can see. So the project features four-lane flyover, improved junction walkways, cycling lanes set to ease congestion and boost urban mobility. Completion was originally set for July 2027, and we hope to have it earlier than that. This viaduct forms part of the broader Valley Road, Kenyatta Avenue, Ngong, Nyerere Road Interchange, and the Upper Hill, Aile Selassie Overpass Project, which includes major road network upgrades across Nairobi. Initially launched on 17 September 2020, the project stalled due to non-payment of contractors. However, following a securitization intervention approved in April 2025, works have resumed with a revised completion date of 17 December 2020. 26. Many of these debts had remained unpaid for years, some dating back to 2016, resulting in abandoned projects, business closures, and significant job losses. Consequently, roads meant to connect communities to essential services such as hospitals, schools, and markets were left incomplete, creating safety risks and hampering local economies. Constrained by limited physical space, the government turned a debt avoidance strategy known as securitization. Through the Kenyan Roads Board, a portion of the road maintenance levy fund, specifically seven shillings out of every 25 Kenya shillings collected per litre of fuel over a 10-year period, was committed to raising capital without incurring additional public debt. Constrained by limited physical space, the government turned to a debt avoidance strategy known as securitization. Through the Kenya Roads Board, a portion of the road maintenance levy fund, specifically seven shillings out of every 25 Kenya shillings collected per litre of fuel over a 10-year period, was committed to raising capital without incurring additional public debt. The funds were used to settle verified pending bills and resume stalled roadworks across the country. By July 2025, over 393 out of 580 stalled road projects had resumed nationwide. Some of the heavy machinery can now be seen at Kenyatta Avenue, where a strong safety wall was constructed immediately after the contractor resumed work. When President William Ruto assumed office, his administration reported inheriting 175 billion Kenya shillings in pending bills owed to 580 road contractors. Many of these debts had remained unpaid for years, some dating back to 2016, resulting in abandonment.